Another thing I like to do, Ed, which you taught, is to do what I'll call methodical Roth conversions over a period of time and maximizing the bracket that you're in and taking a look and forecasting out, okay, what do we think my IRA is going to be worth when the required minimum distributions start? What's what's the tax rate going to look like because of that and Social Security and other income that I'm going to have? And then say, can we convert it today? at a lower rate than what we know we're going to be in when the required minimum distribution start. And if the answer is yes, then you do it. And, and the answer is almost always yes, to given what our tax rates will be in the future. And you just gave away the secret to this book. That is the secret. The foundational principle of all good tax planning is exactly what you just said. Always pay taxes at the lowest rates. This is a pure tax rate arbitrage game. Think of the taxes like a stock. Buy low and sell high. Uh, it reminds me of that great saying of, from the old comedian, Henny Youngman. He, didn't re- he just thought this was funny. But he, his one line was probably the best t- tax planning line I ever heard. He said, I, and this he said in the, either the 50s or early 60s. He said, I'm putting all my money in taxes. The only thing sure to go up. <laughs> he was right. That's yes. what we're talking about in the book. You can't be short-sighted. You have to look at the long-term benefit. That's the secret to this book and all tax planning. Yeah, it's better to take a, a, a lesser hit now for a big benefit later, not only for you during your retirement years, but to pass on to your loved ones. Yeah, I think, Ed, you talked early on in our podcast here about the the CPA mentality that was drilled into you from day one was yeah. defer, 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 defer. My feeling is that, hey, as long as we live in the United States and we have money or make money, taxes are going to be a fact of our life, right? So it, tax planning is not about how do I pay as little as possible for 2021? It's how do I pay as little as possible over my lifetime? And right. that's where that's... your tax planning comes in. And you have to open your eyes and understand that, look, you're going to, as long as you're alive and, and you have money or make money here in the United States, taxes are going to be a part of your life. So how do you reduce those taxes over a lifetime, not in a given year? Over a lifetime. That's the key. You can't look at one event and say, you know, I don't want to pay tax now. Look at all I saved. By not paying, you know, uh, my dentist, I think a lot of dentists have this sign in their office, ignore your teeth and they'll go away. Uh, it's the same thing. Ignore the problem and your IRA will go away. It's very easy to bury your head in the sand. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the, the same comedian, I'm trying to remember the saying, had something. He said, well, when I read about the evils of drinking, I gave up reading. <laughs> Uh, he buried his head in the sand. Uh, you can't, uh, yeah, it's easy to say, oh, look what I saved. I, and you're right. The accountants all say, don't pay a tax now. I want you to save taxes. But look what you're costing me later. It's like the same thing, ignoring your teeth. Take some of the pain now. Get the cleanings. Take care of them. Do the things you have to do. Because if you don't, the problem doesn't go away. It gets worse. They're called root canals and implants. And they're not only more expensive later, but way more painful. You know, Ed, it reminds me of, I had a, you know, we've been talking about tax planning uh, for years and years and years, obviously working with you, but on my uh, radio show, America's Wealth Management Show, um, I had a guy come in and talk to me because we were talking about tax planning and it was some things that we had talked about in one of our educational groups that, that you teach. And he, he came in and he slid his tax return across the table to me and he said, I just want to see how you can do better than this. And he had a tax bill of zero. And I said, well, that's fine, but tell me this, what are you living on? He said, well, I've got, I've got a bunch of money uh, that's in the bank and I've just been living off of that and there's not enough interest to cause me to be in a taxable situation. I said, you're not taking Social Security. No, I'm not taking my Social Security yet. I said, don't you have any IRAs? He says, yeah, I got about $2 million in IRAs. And I said, I said, so when your CPA told you that you could have actually converted $90,000 of that IRA and paid only $11,000 in taxes, and then it would have been tax-free forevermore, was there a reason you didn't do it? And he's like, well, we didn't have that conversation. I said, well, what about when he told you that you could have taken at least 25000 out of that IRA in that year and still paid zero tax because of your personal exemption, standard deductions, et cetera? And he goes... Well, we never had that conversation either. And I said, well, 
okay, I can help you a lot. And we're going to, and so what we did, we forecasted what is R&Ds were going to start being at 72. And I showed him what the tax rates were going to be and how we could convert a major amount of that IRA over a period of years, then growing tax free and got money out of that IRA. We diffused the time bomb, right? And now this guy is in his 70s and is happy. That's your story. Yeah, you know, that's a big point, too. People think if they have pay low taxes, they'll they're they're missing out on taking advantage of the low brackets. You don't use them. You lose them. You don't get them back the next year because you didn't use them the last. (laughs) Right, right. You know, you've got to take advantage of those low brackets. You, You either use them or lose them. Starting your route to retirement. 